Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the body shop. Oh my gosh, you guys, I hate that song so much. Yes. Everyone's gonna start saying the body shop. Four and two. So let's go in with the razor blade, get all that old crusty molesties. I feel good. Actually, for as long as it's been, they look pretty decent. Yeah. Speaking of which, has Cardi B had any new songs? I don't know, I don't think so. I feel like I haven't heard from her in a really long time. No. Or um, Nicki Minaj. No. What have they been up to? I have no idea. Have you seen um, Black China? Well, I know. Angela White. What's her name? Is it Angela White? What is her name? <laughs> She's not Black China anymore? Yeah, I don't know. Like her goddamn name. Really? Mm -hmm. Is she like all holy roller now? Uh, yes, really? No more titties and ass. Yeah. What? Yeah. What does she look like? Normal. Really? Yep. Yeah. Just like very mundane or what? Yeah, she's very pretty actually. She's very like casually pretty. They took everything out. Really? Yeah. Cause she was looking a little, yeah, a little housewife. Yeah. Uh, what what style are you using? Is Miss Pasta? Of course, the mini toy nail drill from inalcouture.com, the best nail drill in the universe. It is like the Aston Martin of nail drills. So, are you gonna go to New York with me then in May? I should. You should. And then we can go to the body shop. And you can do things that are unholy. Dropping it low. Just me by myself. Just make sure that you keep your business clean. Oh my god! Stop promoting it. You're like, what are we selling on here? Uh, the body shop. <laughs> I'm gonna name a product, I'm gonna call it the body shop. Oh my god. I feel like that would be a good name for like a store that sells things. A store that sells things like what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what would the body Silicone? shop sell? Silicone Liquid latex, <laughs> whips and chains. No, you know what? Maybe like, um. We can't go down these roads with them because we get really up. Uh -oh. What could it sell? Like the maybe like. Shop. Car parts? Like fire. Oh yeah, it could sell car parts. Car I'm just thinking more like. Like women's active wear? Like women's active wear? For the body shop? Women's active, I guess so. I mean, I could see that. Like Lululemon? Uh, hold on, Miss Tasha. Do you have it linked? Have what linked, my love? I think the file, the e file. No, but it's on the website. So if you go on enocouture.com, just type in drill or mini toy and it'll pop up. Sonia says, hey, hey, Max and Client, hello. Hi, my love. Sony6801. Thanks for joining us today. So we're going in and clean, clean, clean. And we're using the unicorn bit to push back that cuticle and expose as much of the nail bed as possible. Or as they call it, the nail estate. It's so, like, comfortable. Like, it's not... This is, like, octagonal shape, so it's not... It doesn't have any sharp edges, so it won't break the skin. Yeah. It's great for pedicures, too. That's fantastic. So when did you stop doing your hair? I'm more curious now. Was it fairly recently? Cool. Oh, uh, Lizzie McGuire. Oh, my Lizzie McGuire? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I don't think it's been a year. Oh! It's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The way he says body shop, I didn't realize that it was a Sam Smith song. <laughs> That's what we've been talking about. And I love that song. Uh, so I was telling everybody on Instagram that I went to a uh, drag show in Korea. Well, that's because I was saying, how was your trip and the hey Max, good to see you again. Oh, thank you. Yeah. My trip was good for for the most part, but I feel like I've been there so many times, like I'm kind of like Korea out. I was just there in November to get my nose done and then I was there for my uh, facelift. So I feel like I've been there so many times, like it, it lost its je ne sais quoi. I mean, I still love, love it. It's gonna be wrong, but when people ask you, do you live here? That's kind of a sign that you've been there so many times. <laughs> I don't speak the language. Oh. Yeah, that's really hard. I mean, going once and just like to Kiki or whatever for a little while, it's like, it's okay, whatever. But when you're going a lot, it, it gets really like annoying when you don't speak the language. So I'm like, I need to learn. So that way I'm not, you know. Oh my gosh, it's the time act. Hi, Kendra. I know that voice and tattoo. Miss you is Heimer, by the way. Who's Heimer? I, her name is Tina Heimer, and I actually went to beauty school with her. Really? Yes. What a small world. That's so awesome. And now she's at the body shop? I know. Yeah. Doing unholy things. Right. As long as you keep your business clean. Yes. But if you don't, there's Valtrex. <laughs> That's fantastic to know too. I heard um what's his name takes it? Oh. The situation. Oh really? Well, hello, Jersey Shore. A lot all of them should be on Valtrex. Because they do a lot of unholy things out uh, in the Jersey Shore. Holy things. With holy things. With holy things. <laughs> with kitty cats. So now we're gonna use the Russian manicure drill bit. I'm gonna use the football shaped one to prep. Football shaped one. 
Yes, so in the Russian Manager Drill Bit set, you're gonna get quite a few different bits. I think there's like seven or eight in the set. And this one is great for like those hard to reach places and to prep the whole nail. So it's a great overall bit. Jojo Red Carpet Nail says hi. Hi, my love. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure you guys keep tapping that screen. Let's try to get to 25,000 likes for a giveaway at the end. You know, you guys know we love giving stuff away here at Unilever Tour. Hey. Oh God, that song is still stuck in my head. Okay, I need to charge it rent. Oh my gosh, can we? Song. Rob Schneider's daughter. Rob Schneider's daughter. Why doesn't she have the last name Schneider? Does she not like her father's last name? But she does resemble him. Hi Max. Lisha Love TV says, what's on your nails today? I have pink press on gel. I actually got a manicure while I was out there. And I'm not one to complain. But the girl, like she like, I don't know if you guys can see, she shaved him like empanadas. Like she really piled that gel on. Yeah. And I was like, girl. You just need to do one thin coat, not cake it on there. It's not, you know, Dolly Parton buttercream frosting. Diana, the queen says, oh my god, I love that song. Which one are you talking about? Are we talking about X's and O's? And then Natasha, they didn't get along for a while, so she uses her mom's last name. Oh. oh. Um, but they get along now. Didn't she watch The Hot Chick? Didn't she like that movie? The Hot Chick? I don't know if I see that movie. Where he goes, it's me, Jessica. Poor Rob Schneider, that's someone that fell off the face of the earth too. I feel like he's doing behind the scenes in a lot of stuff. Oh, does he? I, I want to say. And isn't he, he's literally in every single movie that I'm ever going to Really? Yeah, all oh. his friends are. Everything's on Netflix then? Yeah, literally every, every one of his friends, they're all on basically every single one of his I do not watch that much Netflix. Really? Yes, I don't even have an account. Oh, wow. I use somebody else's account, a friend of mine. Wow. And I'm like, man, you guys really like your Korean TV shows because as soon as you like open up their account, it's like all Korean dramas. And I'm like, girl, you don't even speak Korean. Okay. But that's all they watch. I'm like, wow. Natasha says they did a People Magazine article recently. Really? And some uh, E3 Virgo says, just when you were on, was busy with dinner, barbecue ribs, green beans, and scallops. Ooh, that sounds very hearty, doesn't it? It does. Yes, I just got back last night. So I'm trying to like beat my jet lag and you know, just get back into the rhythm of things. I kind of don't want to travel for a while. And I'll probably like be like, oh my God, I can't wait till even two weeks. Exactly. But... I said, how are you in two weeks? Dang. Maybe, yeah. yeah. For New York. And I need to book the flight and the hotel and everything like that. But I don't know, maybe it'll be different because I have my cousins going, so I won't be alone. And then when I was in Korea, I got really annoyed because my two friends were like, aren't you tired of being alone? And they're like, no. And they're like, why are you, it's like you're wearing a mask. I'm like, you don't need someone else to make you feel better. Like one of my friends, when he broke up with his girlfriend, he got depressed, like clinically depressed. Like he had to get on medication because he was so sad. And it gave him anxiety. And I was like, why would, why would you want to put me in a situation like that? And he's like, oh, you need to find someone where you have like things in common. And I was like, at the Gucci store? <laughs> he's like, no, you need to go to like museums. And I was like, I don't like to go to museums. That sounds terrible. That sounds, can you imagine me in a museum? No, I couldn't. It's so boring. No. I don't like looking at pictures or art or whatever it is or statues. No, no girl, no thank you. Why do I keep picking up pound cake? I have no idea, we, Maybe I want some cake. <laughs> Speaking of which, the Dolly Parton cake mix is so good. Wait, are we talking about nails or are we talking about cake? Cake, like there's, she has a cake batter mix. I did not know that. I thought you were literally, I thought you made And she has a frosting that. <laughs> that's called Dolly Parton's buttercream. It is so good. Southern buttercream and a pineapple cake. It is the best thing ever since sliced bread. Oh my god, it is so good. I don't like cake or like the taste of pineapple, but this tastes like really good. It doesn't taste like artificial pineapple. It tastes just delicious. Uh, Natasha says, I know people try to tell me I'm not cultured because I hate museums. <laughs> tell them to go fly a kite and yeah, to kiss no. mm -hmm. your bum. Yeah, I've been to a few museums like with my kids and stuff. I'm like, even like the natural museum of, of whatever where they filmed that movie with the dinosaurs and shit jurassic park <laughs> no no we're like the dead animals bones come alive with ben stiller oh night at the museum night at the museum come on i can't remember it. it's fucking museum in the <laughs> is it good um no it's crazy i, I went to park. um the natural na i went to the national anthropology museum in mexico and it's like supposed to be one of the best museums in the world and i was like all this stuff is fake because i'm one of those people that touch everything because I'm ghetto. Yes. So like I am touching everything that says do not touch. And I'm like, this is fake. Where's the real stuff? Why would I pay money and spend my 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 time touching styrofoam <laughs> or replicas? I don't want to see a replica. Dialysis Queen says, would you use acetone or regular alcohol on oily nail beds? Neither. I would use prep and primer from enocouture.com, I love. There you go. 
what color acrylic are you using? So this is a custom mix I do. This is Eternal Beige mixed with Racer Clear. There is also Dolly Parton Coconut Cake as E3 Virgo. Yeah, I got some of that the other day and my mom made it for me before I left. It was so good. I was like, man. Shoot me up with more Ozempic so that way I can't even. <laughs> oh my gosh, she just said, easy Virgo. We just watched Night of the last night. Really? Yep. I need to catch up with my real housewives. It's very, it's very quiet and nobody talks and it's like, it's like when you get in trouble and get sent to the library when you're in third grade. Detention? Is that what it's called? Detention. Where was uh, the, this museum at? In New York. Oh. Yeah. We did, uh, anytime I get press on, they always come off within days, says dialysis with Mm hmm. What kind of presents are you doing? Are you doing is using ours or like are you mixing around products? You have to make sure you prep the nail really well and you have to make sure that you cure it in a lamp that's powerful enough too. Are, what, what are the ones that you put on these? One, two, three, go nails. Are those considered like a press on? Like so what is the difference? Those are pre-made gel nails. Okay. So it's a different kind of material. It's a different kind of plastic. It's um, pr pretty much the same as a, a gel nail, but yeah. just pre-made. And it's adhered with a vegan hypoallergenic hema-free resin. So you need to make sure you prep the nail properly. You need to make sure you're curing it in the lamp. Probably your biggest issue is prep. Yeah, because if it doesn't adhere right. If you do not remove all that shine off the natural nail, then you're going to have lifting. And either way though, how long are those designed to last? To the party nails? It just depends. If you're applying them with acrylic or if you're just applying them with glue. If you're applying them with glue, you shouldn't have nails stay on more for than a few days. Yes. Because that then sense, glue crystallizes and then you can get water underneath and then you can get mold stains on the nail. Right. And if that's just something like you want for the night, it's just something you want for the night, right? Mm -hmm. And then also if you're on dialysis, that can also lead to lifting too because um, the chemical uh, balance is different. So all of that stuff really affects how nails adhere. If you're on your period, if you're on hormones or certain medication, that can affect how nails, yeah, the products, nails grow out. And the same with hair color too, yes. right? Yeah, absolutely. Your hair, skin, and nails are affected by so many things, mm -hmm. especially for women and all the things that we don't totally. Yeah. Yeah, that can be a lot of pressure on the ladies. Yeah. It's so hard to be a chick. Right. Even medications, like, you know, like, you like, what like, I don't know, the, the actual term where it's like the ridges in nails. Oh, yeah. Because that, you have that, you can't adhere to that. You have to, like, put more product in there to compensate for the, for the gap. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, see, they're asking, do you mean this pre designed nails or the one you do? And she's like, oh wow, I totally didn't even think about that. But that's why we're here. He can answer all those questions. Live in living color. Absolutely. So sometimes dialysis can lead to lifting. Cancer patients unfortunately also have a lot of lifting too. Which also have issues with hair color, like again, back to hair skin and nails. People with leukemia like try to get rid of the, the itching. And they're like, you're probably allergic to the tape. And I was like, great. Are you also allergic to avocado or kiwi by any chance? I don't know if she's got me or me. Me? I don't know. I'm not allergic to them. Are you allergic no. to them? No. But I am allergic to like certain kinds of... I don't know if I am or if I'm developing it, but sometimes when I eat certain kinds of nuts, or like a walnut or whatever, I feel a little itchy on my tongue. Really? Mm -hmm. I know that makes me a little itchy. Really? Yeah. Or sometimes shellfish. Like I remember one time I had shellfish in China, and the next day my face was huge. Yikes. My sister goes through that sometimes too. And so other times I'll have self shellfish and I'll be okay. Yeah. So it was maybe the way it was prepared. Maybe. And then again, it was in China. Right. But that's so, little, I mean, God knows how they prepared it. It's a little anaphylactic shock. <laughs> it is scary because that, the, that was the first time I'd ever seen somebody like wash utensils before you eat. So there's a bowl in the middle of the table, what? and then there's like the hot teapot, and you wash your utensils before you eat. Why? Did they not wash them? Yeah, but you have to do it again. Wow. With hot tea. Uh, I'd be a little scared. And that was the first time I've ever seen someone do that, and that was in China, in mainland China. Walnuts have a, spe a specific enzyme. I'm assuming that's what makes them allergic. Because lactose, and they eat three burgers. I'm allergic to surgical tape, tape that they use to keep the IV stable. Found that out the hard way. Ooh. Well, it's not like you know, on a Thursday you just put tape on you. you know what I, mean? I hate when I when I have to put the IV in me. Like during my surgery, that was like yeah. the part I dreaded the most. They're like, oh, here comes the IV, and I was like, oh. <gasps> I'm like, can't you give me the purple fall before? Can I carry the pill? Most of the time, it's the adhesive and not the actual cake. And yes, I, I agree. So they took it off, and they're like, oh, it doesn't look like you have a rash. And they took the tape off, and I was like, well, can you switch it out? Yeah. And it was all red and, and bumpy. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you do have a rash. Yeah. Not good. They're like, sorry. Yeah. No, thanks. No bueno. No. Mm -hmm. That's definitely not fun. I 
hate, I hate getting stabbed with needles. I know I have, I have a lot of tattoos, but it's different when they're like putting a needle in for like an IV or taking blood or whatever. Oh my gosh. And the needles for IVs are like massive. They're like catheters. It's like a gauge. It's like what? Fucking okay, 14. And it like it goes into your vein yeah, and it just sits so there. Painful. Oh. Did they tell you what the chemical is? No. Yes. I had to tell Bunny, the nail tech, because I'm terrified of having to have surgery. The whole anesthesia thing just freaks me out. Really. You actually sleep really well with the anesthesia. Mm -hmm. I will give you that. If you have problems sleeping, trust, you will be out of it. Are you only online or can we go? At your store. No, we're only online, so you can order online and then we actually offer curbside pickup if you're local and you can pick up your purchase. Which is fantastic. But we do not have a storefront. Yeah, I was at, at the hospital when you You liked my uh, Korean Ritz, huh? <laughs> you want to try one? Yeah, I want to try one. <laughs> um, cheese in Asia is terrible. It's like sweet. Cheese is, cheese is sweet in Asia, like it's not savory. What is it? These are Korean Ritz, so they're Ritz crackers with cheese in them, but like the cracker is salty and the cheese is sweet. Oh, I love them so much. What? Beer. I had HD in my first trimester of pregnancy, and I had to get infusions two times a week. I got over my fear of needles really fast. Yeah. She had to get what? Uh, infusions, so. Ooh. Yeah, twice a week. Um, matches at your leg, I see. Yes, don't look. <laughs> it's 90 degrees. <laughs> So but, myself, but I do like wearing short shorts. Yes, you do. I actually have more in there because there was a sale on Adidas.com and I got more. And I like to dress up like an athlete because I'm like the least athletic person. So like I had like this green, green stripe, black and green stripe to like a uh, shirt and shorts. Oh my gosh. So I look like a referee. Oh my gosh, that's the weirdest thing in the entire world that I'm doing right now. Why is it that weird? Because it's sweet and savory at the same time? But I, I'm, I feel so confused. Like my mouth just feels confused right now. You're like, it doesn't taste like cheese. It tastes like frosting almost, doesn't it? It's very sweet. And then it's like there's no salt outside the cracker, but the cracker is very salty. <laughs> it's very odd. <laughs> that is a Korean Ritz cracker for you. What the heck? Oh my gosh, you just tried Cheetos in Korea. They're disgusting. They're so sweet. What? They taste like a breakfast cereal. That's gross. Mm. What tips did you use? So these were originally... Um, City Stiletto. Yeah. These were originally City Stiletto, and this is her second fill in two months, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, these are Cheetos, not Cheetos. They're so Cheetos. gross, I don't like them. But I like my food like really strong flavored though. Well, so, yeah, I like that. What's that other side you need? Vegemite. Vegemite. Oh, that's so good. It literally tastes like liquid. Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Liquid cheese? No, liquid um, chicken bouillon or whatever. Liquid. Oh, beef bouillon. bouillon yeah. And soy sauce mixed together. Did you not watch any of the Real Housewives shows? I have not. No. Really? Uh -uh. I read like some of their drama. I know that the Beverly Hills one, she had her house broken into, but I don't know, it didn't seem real to me. Really? Yeah. Like, if you, like, set up or Yeah, right? just to keep her story more relevant. In other words, they were having an argument, and then all of a sudden, another one's like, oh my gosh, you guys don't keep me relevant, like, you guys don't care about my feelings. And they're like, you're not a part of this, and then she just started crying, she's like, I need to leave. I keep reading, like, all of these, like, gossip drama about... This is a superstar drill bit, my love, and she will do everything, literally, it's incredible. And right now, if you use promo code SPRING30, you can save 30% off your entire purchase. And then we also have E3 Virgo, who's gonna do this on live, but I received the wrong signature sheet, and have no fixed customer service. I think they emailed you back, because today, they, um, in our daily meeting, it was discussed. So I know that they emailed you back, and I know that uh, it got sent out. So make sure you check your email for that reply. Oh my god, so good. Sodium overload. I never watched them, also, but I do not. I do know what's going on by reading the website they're posting. All the drama. No one has messaged me back, which is very unlike you all. Did you check today? And also make sure to check in your um. Spam folder because sometimes yeah. it can go into spam. Right. So now let's do the inside. 
I'm using the power top bit to clean out her old nail. Okay, thanks, Max. I usually hear back from y'all quickly. Oh, no worries. I was really surprised that nobody, like, here would message me with, like, all the stuff that they needed to take care of. They just were like, oh, we just won't wait till you come back. And I was like, okay. Because usually most, like, email replies get taken care of within, like, a three-day time period. That's what I think. They are very prompt. Clean, clean, clean. Oh, doesn't this feel good yeah. too? Okay. Like we're lifting, or yellowing, or anything. Right. From all that hair color. They're black from the hair color, not from doing bad things. Right. At the body shop. At the body shop. Doing something unholy. Oh my gosh. Okay, we should go see Janet Jackson. I would like to see Janet Jackson. She just came out with her new tour, right? Yeah, it's gonna it's coming to Phoenix. I would like to see Janet Jackson. You should go see yeah, Janet Jackson. And then tell your sister she can't go. <laughs> She's too old to go see Janet Jackson. That would definitely, I hope so. I hope she goes on a good show. Pro Janet? Yeah. I think so. She just shows us a lot. Like, me and Janet have that. We're in common. Oh, she found it. She said, I saw it. Thank you. And tell the girls thank you, too. You're welcome. Okay. I have half of that. She's like, we got this. We can take your mom. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be exciting? So exciting. She'd be like, I remember when the song came out. <laughs> well, shit. When, when did she actually come, like, start made on her phone? Janet? Yeah. Late 80s. Late 80s, yeah. What about Latoya? When is she gonna do a tour? Oh my gosh, when is she doing anything? Anything. <laughs> She'll show up to opening up an envelope. Or Latoya. You know, she does have the best body, though, out of all the Jackson sisters. Yeah, she has a tiny little waist. Speaking of bodies, have you seen um, Little Kim? She looks like a blow-up doll. She looks like a blow-up doll. And she looks like another race. Kim and her troll, kind of, sometimes. Like, her nose is too small for her face and her eyes are too... too tight. Yes. What are you drinking, Max? Jamaica. 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 That's Hi, hibiscus favorite. water. I love that. That's my favorite. Because I had Mexican food. Because if you guys saw my Instagram stories, I went to a Korean restaurant in, oh, I went to a Mexican restaurant in, in Korea, Korea, which is a bad decision. Bad idea. Good people make bad choices. Yes, all the time. And I was like, I really wanted an enchilada. <laughs> and I got this thing that had pineapple in it. That, I can't believe. What is it, was it supposed to be like the flavoring? Like, like, al pastor, like, type thing? <laughs> like, what are they doing? No, but al pastor, at least you have that yeah, savory that's meat. Saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, was it supposed to be like that inside of it? No, it oh. was like a pine, it was like a giant burrito. <laughs> with rice inside of it, with chicken and rice wrapped inside of this tortilla with like this like curry sauce and then a slice of pineapple. No. Nope. I was like, where's the Mexican food? Where's the enchilada? Only Mrs. Cobb says, hey Max and everyone, how is mom and dad doing? They're good actually, they're in Mexico right now. Aww. I spoke yesterday with my dad's eldest sister, who's like 90 something. Oh wow. And she still, like she's still the smartest out of all of them. With pineapple, yeah, so much milk there. They were so <laughs> exactly. gross. Yeah, no, I can't Never again. But savory meat with pineapple? Ellie, you have to have the savory. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm in. That's, I love that. That's and I'm really surprised too because Korean people really like spicy food. Yeah. And Korean tacos are really good. Here, but over there, I didn't like them. Yeah. And they have Ritz crackers with sweet cheese. Ritz crackers with sweet cheese. Cheese in that part of the world is just disgusting. And butter too. Well, the there's no salt in it. So like at the at the buffet, my hotel had a breakfast buffet, and they had little butter packets, I would put salt in it and then mix it. And then put it on my bagel. Because if you just have butter without salt, it doesn't taste like and you can't spread it. It's just like fat. Like yeah. yeah. Weird. Salted butter. Ugh, well, I don't get the point. Why? My brain can't comprehend sweet cheese. Well, I just had sweet cheese in my mouth and I feel like I can't comprehend it. And then one day I was really craving pizza. Uh -huh. So I ordered pizza and it had corn and it had shrimp in it. Stop it! Pepperoni, corn, bell peppers, Stop shrimp. It. Stop. And then that kind of cheese. Oh my gosh. Max, your buffers are the MVPs. Don't they last forever? Like, seriously. Awesome. How many likes do we have, you guys? We are at 11.7. Let's try to get to 25k. We still have a little bit of time. Tap, tap, says Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. That was an interesting slice of pizza, let me tell you. Did you eat it? You were yeah. starving and you ate it. Huh? And it was like three in the morning. Oh my god. I can't even imagine. It's 
sweet pizza. And, and I mean, that's just pretty common in that part of the world. In Korea, Japan, Thailand too. Like their cheese is just disgusting. I remember one of the girls that um, her husband was Portuguese. And uh, he was like, I, I, that's one of the things I regret about living in this country is that the cheese is so terrible. He's like, if I go to like even a five star hotel or whatever, I have to ask or like take my own salted butter. That's so funny. Um, geez, now I'm craving, oh, me, myself, and Lala. Geez, now I'm craving cup of noodles and squeeze cheese on a Ritz cracker. <laughs> So for the base color, I'm gonna use A Pink 36. My hand is being a little obnoxious today. Sorry. Actually, it's doing better than it was when you first got here. I was a little obnoxious, huh? You were shaking it. Yes. Shake, 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 snore up, shake it all the time. Like a like a crazy alcoholic man versus for a drink, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like a crazy bad. alky. I did. Fen and person fentanyl. Right. That's two some for you. I needed it. You know, as soon as I got back, the first thing I noticed is like all the tents of the pedestrians or transients. You don't notice that over there. Very, very kind. <laughs> all these transients that we have in town and how like the government doesn't want to get rid of them. Our local government. Yes. It's really bad, you guys. Are these acrylic? They are now. <laughs> they were originally one, two, three, go, but we keep filling them and they just look so beautiful and right. strong and they're not going anywhere. I have not broken a nail. No, I I'm really proud. I haven't done anything. No. Maybe they get tangled every once in a while, but that's okay. I'm gonna jinx myself. Walk out of here and open a car door. And, and there goes that phalange. <laughs> Speaking of car doors, my car finally activated its autopilot. Oh, hell. So it drives itself now, finally. Oh, need. How long did it take for it to activate? I don't know. When, how long ago did you get your car? I wanna say December. December? I wanna say December 9th or 8th. Go ahead and bake that for me, my dear. That sounds about right, doesn't it? And it drove itself today. My brother's like, I don't like this. But it's so convenient. Hey, you guys, what's up? I'm gonna show you one minute demo. I'm gonna use bubblegum gel to adhere the one, two, three, go. Yeah. Does it scare you when it drives? Mm mm. Not at all. I would be scared. I'm more scared of like the driving than the car driving itself. Because it's technology. It's supposed to do that. That's why I bought the bloody car. Right. So it can drive itself. Right. We're gonna use our art gel. We're gonna do a little zebra moment. We're gonna use the vegan four pack liner brushes. What did you attach the one, two, three go originally? What or when maybe? Bunny the nail tech. Bubble gum gel. Bubble gum gel. Let me see which way the lines are going on that hand. So this one is going this way. So this one will have to go this way. Nope, I'm a control freak at the wheel. I would have a hard time with that. You have to have like your hands on the steering wheel because it's watching you. It's called Tesla vision. Yeah, but other people like sleep while they're doing that. How do you sleep? I would do that. Sleep with your hands on the wheel? Yeah, just go. Mm -hmm. I don't like the thought of technology becoming software. It is kind of scary now. This is me. And Max, hi from Elena. Who? Elena Shane. Hi Elena, thanks for joining me today, my love. What brush is that again, please? This is from the Vegan 4-Pack. From the Vegan Liner 4-Pack. Oh, <laughs> my, my friend just messaged me. She's like, I'm just scrolling through TikTok and I was like, holy cow, I know that person. I know that woman. That's so funny. You're a famous TikToker now. Right. You're an influencer. Okay. Come on, you guys, keep sending those likes. Yes. Elena Shane says, Max, oh my God, I just got my order today. 10 new foil boxes. I restocked myself on Dollarina. Ooh, awesome. Thank you, my love. You guys, if you're just tuning in too, don't forget that right now we have our 30% off sale promo code SPRING30. Again, that promo code is SPRING30 and it will save you 30% off your entire purchase. And why the nail freak, the only brushes I use. Aren't they everything in a bag of chips? Nice. Queen Diana27 says hello. Hi, my love. Also, the pink crystals are incredible, too. I love your stuff, here. That's right, and it's made in America. That's and you know what's selling really well right now is the uh, desks. We have a lot of desks selling. Really? Yes. That's fantastic. So if you want to be like 100% living the pink fantasy, that desk, ugh. <laughs> Elena says, I'm 
Elena Sh Shane says, oh my God, the queen is here. And then me, myself, and Mala, what brush do you recommend for acrylic? Jeez, it really depends on your skill level and how fast you like to work. There's so many variables that affect which brush, um, but actually all of them are incredible. But if you're like really a beginner beginner, we actually have a brush called My First Nail Brush, which is a brush for beginners. And keep sending those likes, you guys. Yes, definitely. We're up at 16.7. What, what are we looking for? 25K. 25K. That's not that far away. We can do it. I know. Beginner and slow. So check out the My First Nail Brush. That brush is actually really affordable because no matter who you are, what level you are, we all start out by ruining our first brush. So this brush is priced at that price point where it's not going to like be a big deal that you ruin it. That's awesome. Before you like dive in and get yourself a really expensive brush. Queen Diana says, I seriously love your videos. You will love Maxie's mouthy like you. <laughs> oh, I try I try to keep myself calm down sometimes, you know. Like there was this lady who like who actually I I'm not gonna give her like a clout for name or anything like that, but she makes videos where she like literally criticizes other nail techs and thinks she's the shh. Oh, so crazy. I was gonna give her a clap back. But you know, I said, you know what, I am a man of God. I'm just gonna block her. Yeah. Probably needs that kind of negative negativity in life. Okay, let's go ahead and bake that. But she really built herself a name by like going on there and criticizing people. Well, I mean, I guess it's where it's like bad, what is it? I don't know, bad publicity or whatever it is. Any like, publicity yeah, is good publicity. Yeah, or like being negative. And I was gonna give her a clap, but I was like, you know what, what for? Yeah. Why stoop down to her level? Missy D. Not today. I will for another day. But yesterday I was like, you know what? We're good. We're good. What size brush is your preference? Um, it just depends. I like all of my brushes. That's like asking somebody who their favorite kid is. And why the note break says, oh my gosh, she's so negative. I know who you're talking about, but it's okay. We're not going to say it. That's it. Elena, I ruined my first acrylic brush. It was a limited edition from Nail Career Education Club. Well, we're just gonna pretend that never happened. I know, sorry. I, I, I tried to stop myself. Block button is my best friend. That's what she's there for, right? What a small world though. Right. See, even the pink army's like, ooh. I know. La Toxica. You know, we all have our moments. I have been known to 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 throw a little shade. Well, I mean, there's been times too where people come on here and get you gotta, a you gotta, crazy. Yeah, that was like when you're, um, Lizzie McGuire was here for the first time, remember? Yeah. And the lady was mad at me because I wouldn't live stream in exclusively Spanish, and I told her, and it was still not good enough for her. Elena says, "Sorry, Max. I didn't realize, and it's, it's okay. I'm reading too, and I, I should have caught that too. So we're yes. good. We we're never good. speak of other brands on this nothing channel. Nothing but love. She says nothing but love. Yeah, that's right. One hundred. Oh So touch, press, and pull Photo Fantasia. Was it hard for you to learn like these kinds of techniques? Like, did you practice on something else before you would start on real people? I went to school in Russia, so uh, they told me stop and do it again. And that's, I think that's the best way to learn. Really? Instead of just being like, oh, you're doing a great job, keep it up. No, no, no. Like, that's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? And then Lena Shane says, your lines are so perfect. Because my teacher was a really good teacher. And that's how I teach too. So some people like it when I teach like this, other people don't. But I mean, some people it, want to be babied and you're like, if you don't have it in you, you don't have it in you. you know I'm like, I mean? my job is for you to improve your technique and your skill. And if you just want me to say, oh my God, you're doing so great. Catch on the back. Oh my God, it looks so good, even though it doesn't. First place award. Yeah, <laughs> participation. Then I mean, <laughs> you're not going to grow as, a, as an artist. You're not going to improve your skill and you're always going to be stuck in mediocrity. Mm -hmm. And my job is to push you to make you the best you can be. And if I'm not telling you what's wrong, no, actually, yes, yes, I forgot. But if I'm not telling you what's wrong and what you can improve, yeah. then I'm lying, not only to you, but to myself. Yeah. I love those art gels and I got the spring set too. Aren't they everything? Plus the salon squares are beautiful. She is ready for the fantasy. There you go. And you need, it says, yes, you can't be perfect. You gotta have room for improvement, says Alina Shane. Mm -hmm. 100. We have to push ourselves every day. And I think it's also really important to, to not compare our work to others. Because, you know, when I teach you something, it's for you to develop your own style and skill. I don't want you to do it exactly like me because not even I can do it exactly the same. Like when I used to do nails in the salon, maybe you can relate to this a little bit. Uh -huh. People come with the picture and they're like, I want it to look exactly like this. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I can't. Because no. I did, first of all, that's not you. And second of all, I didn't do that service, yeah. So like, I can take inspiration from it, yeah. but I can't replicate it because that's not what I do. Participation trophies annoy me. Yes, they should annoy you. <laughs> so now we're gonna go in with the silver marochrome. 
But some people are like, oh, well, this is how I've been doing it and this is how I like to do it. Then girl, why are you in class? Yeah. Why are you trying to, to improve or change or learn something new if you feel like you've known it all? And you, unfortunately, you see a lot of that attitude in the beauty industry, in hair and nails. Yes, I agree. Are salon nails shorter than mini? No, they're uh, slightly longer. They're more on the long, medium side. No, I'm, I take that back, short, long. So they're like a longer, short nail, if that makes sense. <laughs> they're not short, but they're not like long. Got it. But they're not medium. <laughs> that sounded like the, the whole story of the, the three bears, wasn't it? Goldilocks? Goldilocks. <laughs> they're just right. <laughs> yeah. All of the above. It was just right. Yeah. Don't they look so stunning? They look great. So those colors are not in like a, a nail polish. This is no, it's like a paint paint. Yeah, that's super cool. Do you notice I did every nail different too? Yes, I love that. Because I know that's how you like it. Yeah, that's how we roll. I have tried so hard to nail art, I cannot, I cannot get it down, so I just figure it says busy one seven. It really is just a matter of practice, yes. And then also like if you look at pictures, I'm gonna ooh, I'm gonna get shady. <laughs> no, actually no, it's not it's not that shady. And it's the truth. You see like people that are like painting um, like the Last Supper. Why do you think there's only one hand in the picture? Because they take a long time. They're there painting for like five or six hours. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. So they're, they're spending all their time and that's why there's only one hand. So it's not realistic. And like for people that sell press on nails that are hand painted with like really elaborate art, they're so expensive because it takes them so much time. Like sometimes yeah. 20 hours to paint something. Yes, when they put like all the crazy portraits and stuff. Yeah. Exactly so. Yeah. We have to be realistic. And some people are like, oh, you know, they show up and they want, you know, the Sistine Chapel on their nails and they only have an hour and a half. It's like, girl, it's not going to happen. Yeah, no. It's not going to happen. Not today, said Jesus. We're at 19.4. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can taste it. We can take it out now. Okay. We're going to seal with some Wonder Gel, the whole entire Flanagy Fantasy. Make sure you get those sides too, my love. I like this like more ovally shape on you. Yeah, I haven't really done that yet, huh? Something different. Yeah. Nails that are like nude like this are so chic, but that's also like too plain for you though too. Yeah, that's too plain. But I love the fact that you started off with like one set and you just were able to turn that set into something else. And then into something else again. Yes, that's crazy. So make sure we seal all those edges, you guys. With Wonder Gel. And don't forget that promo code for that 30% off. It is Spring 30. I'm oh, sorry. What is that? <laughs> and I washed my hair with blue shampoo this morning. Because <laughs> it came back and I was like, my hair is so yellow. Oh, with that treatment that they wouldn't sell me? It was just this giant syringe with like with Japanese letters on it. And I was like, can I buy some? For reals. That's good for being just like a, like not putting A treatment. Yeah. That's but they charge you a lot to put it in. Yeah, like Three figures. What? That's a lot for a treatment, huh? Well, the treatment that it only takes that long, that's crazy. Because how long were you at the salon? It was like two hours. Wow. Because I watched it like five times. Yeah. 25K, but you know what? Because I'm in a good mood, because I came back and we have that 30% off promo code, SPRING30, I'm gonna let you pick a winner and we'll still send out a little prize. Aww. This is gonna be our money shot right there. Look at that. I love them. So beautiful, you guys. I am sorry, I'm so uncoordinated. <laughs> You're like, where do you want them? You're like, it's, I'm not used to modeling with clothes on. <laughs> so go ahead and pick a winner, winner chicken dinner, and we'll go ahead and um, focus on the nails, not on her. Right, right, right. Oh. This thing is the camera. Because it was focusing on you instead of the nails. Face. I was like, I want to focus on that. <laughs> Beautiful, as always, Maggie. Oh, thank face. you. I appreciate that. Um, so, who is it going to be? Let me see. Where's the next? Is it Natasha? Is Natasha still on? Miss Natasha, are you here? She's here. There you go. Awesome. So go ahead and send an email to info at enocouture.com with your shipping details. And we'll send you out a little prize tomorrow, my love. And that's going to wrap up our demo for today. She's an NYC. She's a city girl. Yeah.
So go ahead and send us your, um, send an email to info at enocouture.com with your shipping info. We'll send you out a little price tomorrow. Yay. And that's a wrap, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this design. And I love you guys so much. Don't forget that promo code SPRING30 for 30% off the entire website. And we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.